Some years ago in Nashville, Tennessee, more than 4,000 baseball coaches descended upon the Opryland Hotel for the annual American Baseball Coaches Convention. The keynote speaker was to be John Scalinos. Many wondered, who is John Scalinos? Coach Scalinos was 78 years old and five years retired from a college coaching career that began in 1948. He shuffled to the stage with an impressive standing ovation, wearing a dark polyester suit, light blue shirt, and a string around his neck from which home plate hung, a full-size, stark white home plate. Seriously, many wondered, who is this guy? After speaking for 25 minutes, not once mentioning the prop hanging around his neck, Coach Scalinos appeared to notice the snickering among some of the coaches. Even those who knew Coach Scalinos had to wonder exactly where he was going with this or if he had simply forgotten about home plate since he had gotten on the stage. You're probably all wondering why I'm wearing home plate around my neck, he said. There was laughter in the room acknowledging that possibility. I may be old, but I'm not crazy, he said. The reason I stand before you today is to share with you baseball people what I've learned in my life, what I've learned about home plate in my 78 years. Several hands went up when Scalias asked, How many Little League coaches are in the room? Do you know how wide Little League home plate is? After a pause, someone offered 17 inches and sounded more like a question than an answer. That's right, he said. How about in Babe Ruth's day? Any Babe Ruth coaches in the house? Another long pause. 17 inches, I guess, from another reluctant coach. That's right, said Scalinos. Now how many high school coaches do we have in the room? Hundreds of hands shot up as the pattern began to appear. And how wide is home plate in high school baseball? 17 inches, they said, sounding more confident. You're right, Scalinos barked. And you college coaches, how wide is home plate in college? 17 inches, we said in unison. Any minor league baseball coaches here? How wide is home plate in pro ball? 17 inches. Right. And in the major leagues? How wide is home plate in the major leagues? 17 inches. 17 inches, he confirmed, his voice billowing off the walls. And what do they do with big league pitchers who can't throw the ball over a 17-inch plate? It was a long pause, and he finally said, They send them to Pocatello, he hollered. Everyone began to laugh. What they don't do is this. They don't say, Oh, that's okay, Jimmy. If you can't hit a 17-inch target, we'll make it 18 inches or 19 inches. We'll make it 20 inches so you can have a better chance of hitting it. And if you can't hit that, let us know and we'll make it wider still, say, 25 inches. Another long pause. Coaches, what do we do when your best player shows up late to practice? Or when our team rules forbid facial hair and a guy shows up unshaven? What if he gets caught drinking? Do we hold him accountable? Or do we change the rules to fit him? Do we widen home plate? The chuckles gradually faded as 4,000 coaches grew quiet, the fog lifting as the old coaches' matches began to unfold. He turned the plate toward himself and, using a sharpie, began to draw something. Then he turned it toward the crowd, pointed up. A house was revealed, complete with freshly drawn door and windows. This is the problem in our homes today, with our marriages, with the way we parent our kids, with our discipline. We don't teach accountability to our kids, and there is no consequences for failing to meet standards. We just widen the plate. Then to the point at the top of the house, he added a small American flag. This is the problem in our schools today. The quality of our education is going downhill fast, and teachers have been stripped of the tools they need to be successful and to educate and discipline our young people. We are allowing others to widen home plate. And where is that getting us? There was silence in the room. He then replaced the flag with a cross. And this is the problem in the church, where powerful people in positions of authority have taken advantage of our young children, only to have such an atrocity swept under the rug for years. 
Our church leaders are widening home plate for themselves, and we allow it. And the same is true for our government. Our so-called representatives make rules for us that don't apply to themselves. They take bribes from lobbyists in foreign countries. They no longer serve us, and we allow them to widen home plate. We see our country falling into a dark abyss, and we just watch. I was amazed at a baseball convention where everyone is expected to learn something about curveballs and bunting and how to run a better practice. They had learned something far more valuable from an old man with home plates strung around his neck. Maybe they had learned something about life and the responsibility about leaders and the people in charge. If I am lucky, Coach Scalinos concluded, you will remember one thing from this old coach today, and that is this. If we fail to hold ourselves to a higher standard, a standard of what we know to be right, if we fail to hold our spouses and our children to the same standards, if we are unwilling or unable to provide the consequences when they do not meet those standards, and if our schools and churches and our government fail to hold themselves accountable to those they serve, there is but one thing to look forward to. With that, he held home plate up into his chest, turned it around, and revealed the dark black backside. We have dark days ahead. Coach Scalinos died in 2009 at the age of 91, but not before touching the lives of hundreds of players and coaches. His message was clear. Keep your players, no matter how good they are, your own children, your churches, your government, and most of all yourself, at 17 inches. And this, my friends, is what our country has become and what's wrong with it today. And now we need to go out there and fix it. Don't widen the plate. <laughs>